what does a work requirement do? It's only on able-bodied people with no dependents. Instead of borrowing money from China to pay somebody to sit on the couch, we now give them the process to go get a job. Debt ceiling negotiations resulted in significant modifications to the nation's spending and programs, including work requirements for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. The deal reached by President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy would put age requirements from able-bodied adults under 50 years old to those under 54 years old. The time frame of working at least 20 hours a week or 80 hours a month continues to apply. Otherwise, recipients will receive benefits for only three months every three years. But despite raising the work requirements for SNAP benefits and cash welfare, the debt ceiling does not alter requirements for Medicaid a line drawn by Biden and the Democrats early on. Also, veterans, homeless people, and young adults transitioning out of the foster care system would have expanded access to food stamps under the New Deal. Recipients of food stamps receive an estimated $169 in monthly benefits on average, according to the Department of Agriculture. Increasing the age for work requirements is likely to reduce the number of food stamp recipients. SNAP benefits are calculated based on household income and size. The recipient's household income generally must be at or below 130% of the poverty line. In fiscal 2023, the poverty line used to calculate SNAP benefits is $1,920 a month.